Hi, we're back. Um, been a while since we've done a video. Um, there's been a few changes to the boards and the processor. We've stuck labels on the bus board so you can see what's going on and what's what. Um, we've also got two extra boards. We've got the um, ALU board, which is 181 based um, with its mod wires because hey, what board isn't good without mod wires? Uh, and we have the bit shift and rotate board as well, so it does left shift, right shift, and left rotate and right rotate. Um, we've also modified the special register board so that we've got the correct functions in the correct places. Um, yeah, so that, that's all the new things. Um, I've got some code running on my FPGA that's pretending to be a teensy that's pretending to be a ROM. Um, and the code I've got here does um, some ads. Well, it starts off clearing all the registers, then it does some adds and some multiplies, um, some bit shifts, some rotates, <clears throat> and then it ends up in a sort of Knight Rider pattern in register F with the LED going left and right. So it's not running fast at the moment, so we'll do it. And you should be able to see lots of flashy lights. Um, if I turn the brightness up, there we go. So you can see it doing various bits and pieces. Register F is where the action is happening, so it's counting down, now it's counting up, no sorry it's left shifting, now it's right shifting, and then we do some rotates, I think from memory, yep yeah, it's two bits rotating, and then we do some rotates in the other direction, and then we go off into Knight Rider land, so there we have Knight Rider running fairly slowly, but you can see it's going left and right, left and right. So that's all working quite well. So I've now set it to run a little bit faster. Um, so it'll do all of its checks with register F and then it will go into the Knight Rider thing. So be ready for super fast blinky things. There you go. And we're doing the Knight Rider thing, which is really cool. So I'm not sure what speed that is. I think it's about it's a couple of hundred kilohertz. Um, no, it's not even that fast. Um, but it's running, um, and we've had it running at two MIPS without it crashing. Um, so we're quite pleased with that. Um, yeah, generally things are going really well. We've got the divide board to add, um, some modifications, and then we're going to add in a little display here so we can output some text. Hi, we're back. Um, we've added this little display module onto the um, sort of RAM ports as it were so these this is sort of memory mapped display um, and what you should see is we are doing an addition of 4.1 in hex with 1.1 1, 1 in hex which gives us a result of 5.2 in hex so if we let go of the reset button and you should see it display PJ5 which is good there's a little delay then you should see 4.1 plus 1-1 one, one equals, and you should see 5-2-H, 5-2-H, there we go, and it stopped. 